So uh, one of the most important things in getting your package built correctly is researching the dependencies of your of your package. And if you're if you're just installing, if you're just creating a um, a, uh, a a artwork package just has pictures or something in it, you're not going to really worry about dependencies. But these dependencies are really important because. Um, if you don't get the dependencies right, then if, if you're installing a program and you don't get the dependencies right, uh, then chances are the program isn't going to run because the things it needs aren't installed. So anyway, um, that is how you use Debreate. I don't have any documentation really on on how to use it. I'm the only person that's been working on this project. Uh, so I wanted to do a little video demonstration just because I don't have any documentation or, or tutorials available and I've seen some people um, complaining that they weren't, they weren't sure how to use it. If you do use Debreate, I recommend getting the, um, the alpha version right now. It works pretty well. It's just a lot better than, than the older version that I have a, a available for download. The, um, the 0 0.70 uh, works pretty well. Uh, I just haven't taken it out of alpha stage yet. It, it just got a lot more, s it has a, a lot more features uh, than, than the old version. So if you see the old version available for download, I, I would recommend getting this version. Um, there's something else. Oh yeah, I put a, I put a little link up here about building Debian packages from source. This is this is how the official packagers do it, or, or one way that the official packagers uh, might might do it. Um, there there are different ways to do it, but what by 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 packaging in this manner. Um, you're going to make sure that your that your package um, works correctly on the system, and and there are also some other benefits to to packaging you get from from source, and one of those I believe is is security. Um, but but this is just um, one description that um, somebody put down on a blog, I think one tutorial of how to of how to create a, a package from from source and like I said maybe someday I might be able to implement that into Debreate but I don't know for sure it's it's a lot more difficult than, than making simple packages and there are people that argue that it's not that difficult but uh, but for somebody who doesn't know how to make Debian packages to begin with uh, it was it was pretty confusing for me <laughs> Uh, these options here are probably going to be removed. These custom dialogues, I, I created my own dialogue because I'm not really a big fan of the GTK dialogues. So, so now, if so, if you um, let's see, let's uncheck that again. So right now, let's say let's browse for a file. So this is a standard GTK dialog. GTK open file dialog. <coughs> If you if you uh, use the custom dialogs, uh, you'll see it's completely different. This is a this is a custom dialog that that I created. Um, I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll leave this option open. I kind of like these dialogs. But the options there, if if uh, somebody wants to use it. Oh, okay. I uh, I know what I wanted to mention. Uh, you can save your projects. So if you've got a uh, uh, a project here, so we've we've done this. We've already built our package. Let's say we want to save this for for a future p version that we want to create. So we'll go ahead and hit save project, and we'll save it to the desktop. We'll call it QJoyPad. We'll hit save. 
and you'll see it created this D DBP file. And I'll show you what that looks like. Let's close out Debriate. Let's open this with our text editor. And okay, so this is this is what it looks like. It just holds all the information. It's kind of based on on XML. Not really. But this right here is just the, um, the, the this is pretty much this is the whole control file right here. And these are the files. And what other whatever other information. So that's just that's just what that looks like. Um, and I can't remember. I tried to make it to where you could just double click this and it would open Debris, but I don't know if that's going to work. Nope. Nope. Yeah, it's not going to work. Okay. So what we have to do is have to open it from Debris. Eight. Okay, so we'll see that we see that's all everything's empty. So we go to file and open project. Go to the desktop. There right there, QJoypad DBP. We hit open. This brings us back to the beginning. And we see that all the information is filled out. So you can save your work. Okay. Another thing I want to show you when um, when you first open the first time you open Debrate, it's going to give you a little dialog. So I'm going to show you how that works. Okay, so this is so the first time you open Debris, this is what you'll see. Okay, just a little thing that shows us that it's gonna it, it, this this tells us that Debris is going to create a um, a configuration file, and it's going to put it in a folder in your home directory. It's going to be an invisible folder has the dot in front of it. Um, right here it tells you if you want to remove this if you want to remove this um, configuration file this is how you do it and I put that in there because I hate when when I, I install a bunch of programs and then I and then I decide that I don't like some um, I, I, I uninstall them but those configuration files are left in in um, in my home folder but they're invisible be they're invisible, so I forget that they're there. So I just put this reminder that if you uninstall Debriate, uh, you can remove the um, the configuration file with this command, or in your um, or in your file manager by by uh, making the in invisible files visible. Uh, in the future, I'm going to change this this um, this directory right here because I don't like I don't like putting I don't like putting uh, the configuration files directly in the home directory. I'll show you mine what it looks like. It, uh, if you show the hidden files, you'll see there are just tons of tons of configuration files in in the home directory, and and there should be some, of course. Um, but what I'm going to do in the future is uh, there's this .dot uh, config folder that a lot of programs have started using. And um, I'm going to, in the future, put my configuration file in in this folder. So I think it's just nice, more organized, to have a a folder that's that's specifically for the configuration for configurations, rather than having just a ton of them in in the home folder. Even though they are, 
invisible, I think it's kind of ugly in your home, being in your home folder. Okay, uh, I believe that's it. So if we hit OK, I'll just show you how it makes it. So show the hidden files. Okay, so so once we hit the OK, you see a folder created here. Dot debriate. And it just holds the config file for the program. Tells it where the um, where it's positioned and everything. Tells us what dialogues we're using. Not that that's important to using Debris 8, but I thought I would just show you. Okay, I I know uh, there are Debris it's just one way to create um, to create packages in a in a pretty easy in a pretty easy manner. Can be kind of confusing learning how to make um, um, Debian packages from just making Debian packages. I, I I would recommend learning how to make them from the from the command line just so you know how how they're made. Oh I wanted to show you uh the build tree. I forgot about that. So we had unchecked this this um delete the build tree. So so uh, what happens is okay before it builds your package Debrit creates a, a build tree or a, 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 a directory structure, and and here um, this is how this is how it's laid out. You'll have a Debian folder, and you can see this is where the control file is located. And if we had included scripts or or a um, or a checksum in our in our program, those would be in this Debian folder as well. And then here, uh, here is our um, our folder structure that that it t that shows shows uh, where our programs are going to be installed. So if we go to user bin, the executable is installed in user bin and user share. We've got some other stuffs that pertain to our uh, to our um, to our program and this this applications folder. This is actually the menu entry right here. Um, this is actually what you'll s what you'll see right here. Some documentation on the program and the fix maps. So that is what the directory tree or the or the um, build tree looks like. And so it uses this to actually build your package. And if you have that uh, delete build, build tree checked, it will go ahead and delete that pa delete this folder once the uh, once the package has been built. So this is just one way to to build Debian packages may not be the best way. I know that the official packagers prefer to build packages from a sor from a source package, and but this is a good way for for uh, for anybody who just wants to distribute their own packages to to create them. Uh, I hope this program's helpful. It's been been pretty fun making it.